today we're going to look at custom material settings. I want to make a rolled paper flower using a new paper called petal paper and it kind of feels like a cray paper. So I have a Cricut Explorer and that does not have a custom setting for cray paper. The Cricut Maker does have a cray paper setting. So let's show you how to go in and add a new paper setting. When I click make it, I'm going to center this because it's large and I want to make sure that none of the cuts are close to the edge. I'm going to go continue and then I'm waiting for the custom settings to come up. Here we go because I have my material set on custom. So now I can go into browse all materials Here's the whole list of materials in here. And I really wanted a cray paper, but it's not even a material I can use for my Explorer. If I was using the Maker, I would do cray paper and the rotary blade. But I played around with some material settings today and we're going to go and add what I played around with as a new material. And I'm going to call it Petal Paper. Save. Now it's putting it alphabetically in with all the other materials. And it's asking me for the cutting pressure and how many times I wanted to cut and which blade I wanted to use. So I played around with some settings today and I feel like 135 worked really nice and anywhere between 5 and 7 multi cuts depending on the shape I was cutting. So this is going to give me a lighter pressure but since the pressure is light it's going to go over that cut a few times to make sure that it gets all the way through. Since I'm using my fine point blade, I'm doing larger shapes and um, less intricate cuts because I don't want to tear the paper. But again, if I was using the Maker, I would totally use the rotary blade and then that would be able to go through it real nice. So now Another thing I want to do, I want to go browse materials. Now that I've added petal paper, I can type petal here and it comes right up. I'm going to star it so that it um, comes up in my favorites. And there it is right there in my favorites now. And I can cut with it. So now let's cut some paper and see what we come up with. 